When you started out with 14,000 students in 1989, you have well over 30,000 today. You created something that was in bits and pieces. You, you brought it together and you have one university. Most importantly, you established what at one time was almost a joke, that Troy was teaching our military around the world. And you gave it credibility and you have over 60 programs across the world. You are something special, and you deserve to be burned tonight. When I first met uh, Jack and Janice, I really thought they were flower people from the 60s because Janice had pigtails, and, and Jack had on his sandals and had long black hair. So I, I knew that we were really in trouble now I want you to look at them and see what Troy University has done for them. There's no more person more deserving of this honor, and any future recipient of this scholarship should not only be proud of their achievement, but of their visions that Jack Hawkins saw for this university. As a Troy alumni, I can say he made this vision a reality, and I'm proud to be part of it. I want to say congratulations to him, and uh, thank you. All of us here tonight and countless others are, are now and will always be better because of your work. And we thank you and your family for giving us so much of yourself. You've blessed many lives, one student at a time, and I thank you for allowing me to be part of your success. And I give thanks to God for your talents and your love and your friendship. Now, we have watched and admired the great job he's done here. You, you just provided some applause. One key, you know, people know about Troy University all over the world now, thanks to Jack Hawkins. And one key is the way you have conquered television through commercials starring Dr. Hawkins. I'd like to offer two quotations to support this. The first is from my mother-in-law in Florence, Alabama. It goes something like this. Oh, that Jack Hawkins is so handsome on television. <laughs> That's a true quote. Here's the second quote. This is a real quote. <clears throat> Hawkins would indeed be a perfect candidate to run for governor. Hawkins is tall, dark, and handsome, with Hollywood good looks and charisma. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you one thing. Us guys, you know, especially us fraternity brothers, we give nicknames. We have nicknames for each other. Well, Jack's nickname has traditionally been Hawk. But after these quotations, we have to reconsider. We're going to come up with a new nickname for Jack at our golf tournament at Blue Water Bay. And we have, this is, this is what we're considering after those quotations. We have three of them. One of them is Rock Hudson. <laughs> Another one is Precious. <laughs> and the third one is Hollywood Hawk. I just, anybody have a preference? Precious. Precious. I'm always going to live here, but what a wonderful thing it has been to be at Troy University because we would never have been here if we had moved somewhere else. And I have to say, Jack has had many opportunities and he's always been loyal to this state and to this university, so I'm very thankful for that. Our father is a great, or he's more than a great dad. He's a multifaceted man who is great at many things, like teaching us our first song, which happened to be the Marine Corps hymn. I maybe, I think that I learned that song word for word by the time I could speak. He also gives us sound advice, such as, it tastes good through your lips, but it hangs on your hips. He happened to say that to me when I was nine months pregnant with Noah. He and I were walking across campus, and he stopped to talk to everyone in his path. I think Bruce, he mentioned this tonight. He knew everyone's name from the professors to the students to the maintenance workers. He knew their kids' names and a special personal detail for practically everyone he met. This was no different 
than any other day that I'd ever walked through campus with my father. I just finally noticed it. He th I asked him, I said, how do you do that since often you even forget the dog's name in our family that we've had for 12 years? And he said, I may have the vision for this campus, but it's each one of these people that employ that vision. Each one of them are as important, actually more important than I am because they are the ones who make all of this possible. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank our board of trustees for you in, in what Senator Dow said about a great board of trustees. It's been a real pleasure. I think if there's been one, uh, one thing beyond our students and working with great people that uh, has really kept us motivated, it's an opportunity to work with a great board of trustees, foundation, a great board of directors there, and a great faculty and staff. But the most important ingredient in this whole equation is uh, students. And we really have great students. And I would say to you that I think uh, Troy University is poised for greatness. Uh, we're very proud of our, the progress we've made. But the team, and this, if you're in this room tonight, you're part of that team. Our philosophy is if it doesn't matter who gets the credit, anything is possible. And we really believe that the sky is the limit for this great place we call Troy University. God bless you and thank you. Jack and his family, uh, the universities and his scholarship, I think the amount of money we were hoping to raise was 100000 but we've already raised 190000 